Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. I've recently extended my mini fridge to basically double its capacity. Now, why did I do this? Well, during this coronavirus panic, I couldn't find a chest freezer anywhere. And you got to control your fermentation temperature if you want to create a decent beer. You can't have it going up and down all over the place. And I needed something that was colder than my house, but warmer than my fridge. The mini fridge I had way back from college quite some time ago now, was simply too small to hold a five or six gallon bucket. So, with some two inch styrofoam, I extended it and doubled its capacity. Check this out. So I've got room in here for two buckets. I've got some simple uh, MD building products seal here on the case, and then I've got a foam seal here on the door. So I've got a double seal. And I've got some 3D printed hinges on that side. And I've got some 3D printed latches on this side. Now these files are of course available on my website for download, mikesinventions.com, so you can download and print them yourself. It just adds a neat little uh, look, I think. But this works extremely great. I'm super happy with it, and I finally get to control my fermentation temperature. And now I can do loggers and things, which is really, really cool. But that's all there is to it. Nothing really fancy. I stuck the styrofoam together with some Gorilla Glue construction adhesive and I sealed the gap between the extension and the old fridge with just some duct tape on the inside and the outside. The fridge extension overlaps the fridge by four inches. I started by taking the doors off and all the hinges as well. This allows me to use the power of the freezer and the fridge since they kind of the systems are intertwined this way, just the entire thing spills cold into my extension, and it works super well. Now, of course, this is bigger than the mini fridge was in originally intended to serve. I don't want to stress the compressor or the condenser or anything too much, so I've got a tower fan there in the back to cool the coils, help them out a little bit. Also, this is two inch foam, where the walls of the fridge were only one inch, so it's really not that much stress. And like I said, I'm also using the freezer power as well because that cold is spilling over. And this thing has no trouble maintaining temperature even on a 110 degree day. But that's all it was. It was a really fun little project. And now I can take my beer brewing to the next level. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.